Lillian is in Lexington, Kentucky. Lillian, uh, your question for Dr. John Maxwell and I. Hi, Dave and John. Thanks for having me. Sure. What's up? Sure. I'm the owner of an embroidery business. We've been in business for 13 years, and we currently have 33 employees. Mm Mm-hmm. Our revenue last year was $3.6 million. Goodness. Way oh. to go, girl. That's, that's it. That's embroidery <laughs> money, Dave. That's serious money. Mm. That's a lot of stitching. <laughs> yes. About four years ago, we promoted our most senior team members from each of our departments to team lead. As of today, we only have one of those original leaders left who's really embraced and succeeded at leadership. I've found that being a small company with little room for that upward movement the expectation is we should promote our most senior tem- team members, whether they'd be a good leadership fit or not. My question is, how can we find leadership potential in our current team members or when hiring so we can build up more leaders and offer career growth opportunities when the, the buck stops with me? Mm. Well, Lillian, first of all, you, you don't promote people because they're senior leaders or that they've had tenure. Nope. You promote them because they're good. And everybody has to understand that you don't go to the next level. You've got to grow to the next level. And um, what I would suggest, because you have a still a, a beautiful but, but small organization, is I would suggest that you develop what I call a leadership table. And a leadership table is not an official position, but it's a possibility position. And what you do is have every, you should at least have twice a month meetings at your leadership table where you bring people that are on your team that have no leadership positions, but you have leadership discussions. Because what I found is if you bring people to a leadership table and you discuss leadership things that you're thinking about in your business, you're going to find out very quickly those who lean into leadership and those who don't. And it's a great farm team way to begin finding who your potential leaders are that perhaps sometime need to go fill that higher position. And it's very non-threatening. In fact, what I suggest on it, Lillian, is that when you invite them to the leadership table, you just say, we're going to have a leadership discussion, and this may be the only time you come to the table. You don't set it up as you were doing this every, every, every couple weeks for you because what you want to do is you want to keep the people at the leadership table that lean in and you want to let the people that don't lean in, let them go back and help you in the business, but they're not going to do the leadership stuff. Because what you have to do is you have to discover. You have to discover who your leaders are and you can discover them two ways. Have something like a form like a leadership table where you can begin to see if they have that natural leaning. And secondly, you've just got to let them go out and practice. You've got to let them, you've got to let, how do you develop leaders? You, you practice leadership. And when you practice leadership, that is the indicator whether a person can lead or not. You know, let a person practice leadership for three months with a couple projects that you give them and you're going to find out if they can produce or not. But I have never been in favor of you've, nope. hel- you've held this position for a period of time so you now can go into a, a senior leadership position. I, I think the, the only promotion that I ever do is they've got to produce. If yeah. they can produce, they, they get promoted. And if they can't produce, there may be uh, some roles in the company that they can have, but certainly not leadership roles. And if the expectation, you said you used that word, among the people in the organization is that if you've been there a while, you get promoted, um, that's your fault. You need to change the expectation. Mm-hmm. You need to announce pretty regularly that your raise is effective when you are. Yeah. You need to announce pretty regularly that leaders, that people are promoted to leadership because they extribute leadership skills, not because they breathe air and take up space. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, seniority gets you nothing, honey, like yeah. the cereal, right? So all it gets you is loyalty, and we love you, and we appreciate you, but it is not a guarantee that if you're taking up space that you get promoted. There's an old book from the 1970s, and I bet John remembers it, called The Peter Principle. Oh, yes, absolutely. Where you stick around an organization long enough that you get promoted to your level of incompetence. <laughs> and you have to avoid that principle. <laughs> oh, yeah. You hey, remember that one? Oh, I remember the book. As soon as you said The Peter Principle, I knew exactly what it said. It, what, what was amazing, this book was written in the 1970s, and still people are doing The Peter Principle. Oh, well, I, it, it's, it's kind of like, we're, we're talking about 60 years ago, 50 years ago, and, and come on, let's learn, let's learn that we just don't promote people just because they're on the team. Yeah, and, and for no reason except that they can do yeah. the job. That's the only reason. Hey, Lillian, we want to help you out. We want you to be in and uh, so get some support from some of our coaches and walk alongside you as you make some of these changes. And I'm going to give you that uh, that membership for a year. So you hang on the line, and the team is going to sign you up and get you going. Now through December 2nd, uh, you can get Elite $500 off your annual Elite membership. This is the best price we offer. 
it's like Christmas time, people. So you need to get this is a good bargain. This is like known as a gift. Now through December second, get five hundred bucks off your annual Elite membership. Best price we'll ever offer, and we can walk alongside you and help you do all of those things. We'll be right back with more John Maxwell and your calls at eight four four nine four four. 1070. This is the Entree Leadership Podcast.